This is what I get for trying to help you guys out. Real quick, I just want to apologize because for two things, right? Two things. I get carried away, you know me. I get ahead of myself and I totally forgot to tell you guys what I was doing about the aux cooler and everything else like that and why we're running it. I didn't. I just didn't even mention that. And then the other one, obviously, for leaving you guys hanging in the last video because we had to go get parts and things like that. But welcome back to the channel. With that being said, now, obviously, we're continuing from the last video, you guys. Uh, we're working on that cooler for the transmission. Really keeping this monster cool, right? Because at the end of the day, this thing is 800 horses, um, 800 foot-pounds of torque. So we're going to need all the cooling possible. Now, if you guys are not running anything above 500 horsepower you guys really don't need it like i've done plenty of stuff where we're not running an aux cooler now mind you we got that guy right there i talked about it briefly on the last video but i also put down in the description a link to this particular cooler if you guys are interested in this one um this one's a little bit more on the i would say mid-range this is probably like 170 bucks shipped something like that i'll put a link down in the description below but anyways so the purpose of this cooler, like I said, you can go straight to the the radiator, right? Which is fine and all, but at the end of the day, that radiator is going to be working, 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 working for that motor to cool that thing down. And if we can assist it in any form, way, or fashion, we're going to do that with that aux cooler. Now, if you guys want to go straight into the radiator first and then back into the cooler, that's fine as well. There's many different ways of doing this. Um, don't don't get it twisted don't don't think that the one way is better than the other or, or you know what if, if you think there is cool put it down in the comments below or prove it you know what i mean but i've always run it this particular way i've never had any issues so what i like to do is come out of the top of the transmission so which is the one closer to the bow housing come out of there in to our aux cooler right here that's this guy right here right we're going to come into there Basically, pre-cool the fluid, cool it down before it gets to the radiator, and then come back into the radiator, and then back down the bottom, out of the radiator, and then back to our return into the transmission. So we have um, as cool as possible fluid returning back to the tranny. Like I said, if you guys want to take it with a grain of salt, you can do it this way. If not, you can go the other way. You can go into the radiator first, and then back through the cooler. It really really doesn't matter i feel like but the we reason why i like to do it this way is because that radiator is already working hard to keep that motor cool and if we can cool the fluid before it gets to the radiator i feel like it's an advantage and keeping that radiator a little bit cooler for everything else it's doing so that's kind of why the reason why we're running it this way now remember we talked about plan b as far as these lines go you can see what i got going on um, this is like basically plan C at this point because let me show you why well this this didn't change you guys can see We're coming out of here just like we talked about and look at that We've got the junction point right there I kind of prefabbed it pre-cut it here I went ahead and did this one without you guys just to test make sure it's going to work because um, We really can't run these lines through here pre-fitted or with the with the fittings pre-assembled I should say because of the lack of room in that hole so what i did is i brought the old vice out here and everything and we are flaring them out here so we'll lower the car put it as close as possible to the line here cut it flare it and be done now there is another flaring tool that's a handheld that'd probably be better for this situation that way you can do it on the car right here and you can don't have to have a vice or anything like that but i will try to put a link down in the description below to that one we went and got an aluminum line because it's a little easier to work with mind you um they also didn't have obviously that earl's olive color that stuff is really hard guys really really tough to bend i'll probably go with the nickel copper stuff that stuff is really nice as well and easy to work with but like i said we're coming out of that stock hole right nice little curvature going on here now this is not nothing's mounted yet obviously we're still kind of in that mock-up phase and trying to make sure we got our cuts correct and markings correct now remember we talked about originally going that way and then across the issue is that this line is so thick this is 3 8 line it's really hard to get a a really sharp 90 here and then back into here so we were having the issue of clearance 
here because it's a for all ADE we don't really have a lot of transmission tunnel room already we already had to massage the crap out of this thing so keep that in mind but what we ended up doing since we're coming into there straight because we can't make a hard 90 in here with the hard line because it's just not enough room I mean you can but you won't be able to get the fitting on so I just got these little uh, basically adapters they're just AN to AN male to female 90 swivels so that way they can move around you can see you can kind of position them in the in the spot you need them at we got to tighten this still up but that way you can angle that and then just have a straight coming out of here and be done and that's a nice easy way to do that but obviously you're gonna have to spend the money you guys and buy these adapters i didn't like the banjo idea because um i've used them before but they just like uh they're hit or miss they either they leak or they don't or you got to tighten the crap out of them and i don't like that so well, we went with these so this should be a little better than that but this is kind of what we got going on as far as plan c goes but you can see i mean it's, it's going to flow nice nicely and the other reason i wanted to do it this way it's away from the heat away from that header right there so we come out back around just like that and then back up front so let me know what you guys think about this idea if you guys like it run with it use it do whatever you guys want but let's go ahead and finish this one up here so what we're gonna do is pull this back out a little bit and we'll do this line we'll do we'll flare this side and then put it back in and then we'll flare the other end up bro guys almost forgot the freaking nut insert bro oh lord good thing i haven't done this side that would have been all bad you guys don't forget the nut insert this is what i get for trying to help you guys out damn had to come off guys forgot about the 90s definitely that thing that sleeve is not going to go over the 90s so i guess we'll do it again luckily we should have enough meat on there to do one more don't try this at home you guys do not try this at home i don't recommend this guys but it does work it can work i should say and but you got to have a vice and all that other stuff that's mobile you guys can see i got the car like halfway up on the lift just as high as that thing but i would say get the handheld the handheld flare into it probably be the best way to do it um luckily for us this aluminum line has enough like play and, and movement in it and not to mention you're gonna have to disconnect the other side, the back side, the tranny side, in order to pull it forward to give you that slack. <whistles> Damn, Gina looking good you guys i am happy with that tell me what you guys think i can live with that for sure this thing looks freaking good got everything secured everything clamped down it's not gonna move it's not gonna go anywhere as you guys can see i even put a little loom on here for you guys because i know it wasn't the same color because we went with the aluminum stuff but a little wire loom little aka little trick right there just to kind of hide those lines be a little more discreet from when they're in the engine bay when you're looking down into the engine bay but that looks freaking good you guys um if you guys got any questions man put them down in the comments below but i think that's gonna do it for this video man you guys it's getting it's getting freaking hot out here you guys it is probably like i don't know probably 100 degrees pretty close today it's hot um we're gonna go inside cool off you already know but you guys already know if you guys like the content man do me a favor smash that subscribe button for me i appreciate it, it really helps the channel grow and if you guys are interested in any of these products like i said i'll try to link them down in the description below but you got to make sure to do me a favor and use those affiliate links definitely helps the channel out and hit the thumbs up all right you guys you guys already know stay wrenching